hi namaste this is surabhi a master teacher of chemistry at vedanta welcome to the session everyone so all good yes okay um so recently we we ran a poll and this that was about the pre boards so for the students whose pre boards are not done yet so this will be very helpful and if you are already done with it very good and let me know in the comment section how was it especially the chemistry part so this is for both cbsc and icsc 10 so even if you are done with your pre boards as well this will help you to plan out your schedule you know how to uh, complete the syllabus and how to revise so shall we start okay then so before that as you know we are done with the syllabus yes cbsc 9 10 icsc 10 yes we are good to go so we have started with different series to make you perfect and to help you to score very well but if you want some additional features so which is only available on vedanta platform then you can go ahead and buy the pro subscription that is you know like we have started with crash courses there where we will be completing the whole syllabus with lots of practice question lots of quizzes we will solve the previous year question paper sample paper everything and the advantages is basically even when you are watching the replay you can still play the quiz you will get the handwritten notes of the master teacher with all those annotations and all that and um assignments will be shared with you tests will be conducted there which is not possible here so even though here even on youtube also we are trying to make sure that uh, you know uh, to give you everything to help you which helps you to score well but still you know we might lack here and there maybe the in class doubt solving i am the only one who will be teaching and i have to teach and i have to look at the chat section to clear your doubts sometimes i might miss few doubts so that will never happen on the platform so you can go ahead and get the subscription and if you want some discount you can use this uh, coupon code surpro yes s u r p r o it is the link is available in the description and in the pinned comment so shall we start okay and i forgot to mention you that the micro courses and crash courses micro courses are super important and they are very much fun where you can get to choose the master teacher you want to learn from and the schedule and the language you will have the complete freedom to choose all these things good nice right okay so let me tell you how you can complete chemistry revision in 7 days per pre boards okay so first it is important to set a goal make a plan and start working towards it but very very important is you need to stick to it right because we all have goals we all make plans every single day and we'll start working towards it but very few of us actually stick to it and reach their goal so here after i give you the 7 days ka plan please stick to it and you know complete it so that you can just finish the complete revision so how much do we need to prepare for to so cbse students you have five chapters to cover right and always follow the redu syllabus of course on this channel we have given equal uh, importance to the deleted portions as well so as you know in the last and previous session so when we were solving the sample paper for class 10 icsc i had included few uh, questions from the deleted portions which i felt as important and we have done uh, several sessions on the deleted portions for cbsc 10th and we'll be doing the same for icsc as well even though it is important but when you are preparing for the boards please only focus on the reduced syllabus do not include the deleted portions as well so five chapters that is chemical reactions and equation acids bases and salts metals and non metals so metals and non metals may are left with only 50% syllabus and carbonates compounds may only 30% and the last chapter is periodic classification of elements now the thing is how do you divide it so let's just plan so you have 24 into 7 mm, nice but i would like you to dedicate only 14 hours out of 24 into 7 for chemistry to revise the whole syllabus so i need only 2 hours each day i want you to study chemistry for 2 hours each day so that you can complete five chapters in 14 hours okay so how do you divide it 
right so for chemical uh, reactions and equations you need to study for 3 hours because it is kind of a huge chapter where it involves lots of uh, types of chemical reactions and you need to learn the definition and the examples examples is very very important they might give you an equation and ask you to identify what kind of reaction is this or um, what is the difference between the combination and decomposition reaction so it is very very important for you to learn and understand the definitions and the examples and redox reaction balancing the equation is super important now when we come to acids bases and salts we have lots to study right from indicators to the chemical properties and the chlor alkali process and the four salts which can be manufactured or synthesized using nacl and their uses what of crystallization okay next is uh, metals and non metals so as the metallurgy part has been uh, deleted i guess 2.5 hours would be uh, sufficient to cover this entire chapter and uh, exactly uh, again you need to focus on the physical properties and the chemical properties um you know exceptions when it comes to metals and non metals exceptions is very 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 important carbon and its compounds may you all know see the thing is these three chapters are kind of interrelated okay you might um see the repetition of the equations or the examples and the concept is basically same right the combination the kind of bondings that's what the entire chapter revolves around but when it comes to carbon and its compounds you are stepping into a whole different world where we need to learn about um, the covalent bonding and the electron dot structure saturated unsaturated here we don't focus on double bond hai triple bond hai how many electrons are there how many bonds are there but when it comes to carbon and its compounds is very very important so but still i feel 2.5 hours mein ho jayega okay if you already have watched all the videos and if you have you know actually listened to the entire lecture next is periodic classification of elements here uh focus on the limitations of the de brainer's triads newlitz law of octaves mendeley's periodic table and what are the salient features of uh, the modern periodic table who gave us the laws do not get confused between the mendeley's law and the modern periodic law and how do the uh properties vary across the period down the group that is it you are good to go now uh, i have just given you the timings okay i'm like yeah you have 3 hours go study no right you should have uh, a method a plan to revise the chapter as well so how do, how can you do it so first 45 minutes spend on reading the notes or whatever um, the material you have so that you can understand the whole concept okay and in the one hour if you want to watch the video uh, okay so few of you you know i don't think you prefer to sit in front of a laptop or a phone when you are revising right otherwise also it's completely fine you can spend that or you can utilize that one hour to practice the sample paper or you know the equations uh, how to balance the equation or the exceptions you can make a table for it you can practice a lot if you don't want to watch the video and the last one hour 15 minutes please 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 always spend it on solving the previous year question papers sample papers ncert exercises practice 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 makes you perfect yes next is for um, icsc the only difference is the number of chapters so there you had five chapters but seven days here you have nine chapters only seven days so but still we have figured out a way again the new syllabus so periodic properties chemical bonding no change study of acids and acids bases and salts so 90% syllabus is there only 10% has been removed and analytical chemistry so there is little change Uh, mole concept and stoichiometry so 50% syllabus electrolysis metallurgy study of compounds organic chemistry that's a lot people okay how to revise in 7 days you have nine nine chapters seven days so for cbse students two hours is enough for icsc students i'm so sorry but you need to dedicate 3 hours per day that is 21 hours in total so periodic properties 2 hours would be enough chemical bonding 2 hours see this is only revision if you don't know anything you you are like what is a bond then 2 hours won't be enough okay once you have like you have watched all the videos you know the concepts you are only revising then this time table would be very much helpful study of acids bases and salts 2.5 hours 
analytical chemistry two hours so most for most of the chapters two hours would be enough only for organic chemistry and the study of acids bases and salts you would require 2.5 hours because in organic chemistry as i told you for the cbse it's the same thing right you need to learn about uh, you know what kind of bonding is happening why the carbon cannot form ionic bonds all those concepts you need to be uh, thorough with them so that is the reason you would require like extra 30 minutes so 30 minutes is quick notes revision so one hour practicing questions 30 minutes previous year question paper so only focus on the you know uh, 2020 19 18 question papers so this is how you are going to revise the whole syllabus in 7 days so if you believe it you can achieve it yes and i believe in you people as well too our whole team believes so that is the reason every day we come up with something to make sure that which um, you know which will help you to gain knowledge and as well as score marks so go for it all the very best people thank you so much bye bye take care